The governor assembly is a type of pressure relief valve that's supplied by a manual valve with fluid at line pressure. While governor designs vary somewhat, the operating principles are much the same. A governor is driven by the output shaft in transmissions, or by the differential and final drive carrier in transaxles. When a vehicle's in gear and idling, little or no pressure exists in the governor system. As vehicle speed increases, however, pressure in the governor system increases too. Here are two examples of how this occurs. In this style governor, centrifugal force causes the weights to move outward. As they move, they seat check balls in exhaust openings and slow the exhaust of fluid. As less fluid is exhausted, back pressure in the governor system builds. In the regulating valve style governor assembly, the centrifugal force that forces its weights outward lifts the valve and permits fluid to enter the governor passage. As speed increases, more fluid enters the governor passage and pressure builds. The fluid in the governor system exerts pressure on the shift valves located in the control valve assembly. When governor pressure exceeds the calibrated opening point of a shift valve, the valve opens and routes fluid to the appropriate clutch. Let's look at a typical transaxle to see how governor and TV pressure interact for a downshift and an upshift to take place. Probably the easiest shift to understand is the detent downshift or passing gear. Whether you're behind a Sunday driver or a big 18-wheeler, you want maximum power and speed when you punch that pedal down to get you on your way safely. At normal road speed, the apply band for second gear is released because of high governor pressure. But when the accelerator pedal is pressed to the floor, throttle pressure increases dramatically, moving our shift valve and applying the band for a detent downshift, passing gear. As road speed now increases while in passing gear, second gear governor pressure increases also. Remember, road speed and governor pressure increase in a direct relationship to one another. When governor pressure gets to the point where it's greater than throttle pressure, the shift valve moves again, now releasing the band that controls second gear and allowing a return to third gear.